welcome back to my channel it's your girl bisola and usually this intro is always like hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is amisha lizia bisola and i film about faith lifestyle relationship business and lots more but i'm thinking should we change it should we switch because we could have something like hi guys it's your girl bisola or hi guys it's your girl lydia and welcome back to my channel let me know in the comment section whichever one you like better but i mean i'll definitely be going for tell me your own in the comment section and you'll find mine in the comment section as well but hi guys welcome back to my channel and today is going to be a bit of chit chat it's going to be a mix of gist and nuggets things that you probably already know or maybe let me just say like a reminder i'm bringing you a sisterly reminder and a bit of gist so i hope this helps you in one way or the other but without further ado if you're interested in listening to this gist and also getting this nugget let's dive right into this video like let's dive right into it oh good i think i tried with that <laughs> all right guys so the first thing i want to talk about so actually I was having a thing. I was recently just having it. I was like penning down my thoughts. And I'm like, why not? Let me just come and share with you. Because you're special to me like that. Like, don't you think so? I think so. And I just wanted to share this with you as a part of my community. The first thing I want to share with you is, first off, I miss sit-down videos. Oh, Lord. I feel like in the last long weeks i can't remember maybe last four or five videos i've been doing it's been vlogs going out here and there and um, i love it i totally love it i totally love bringing you in i totally enjoy showing you you know my view your view as i promise you but i really do miss sitting there in front of my camera and just doing what i'm doing right now because you see those come with me go with me move with me you know those vlogs that we do now hey god it's hard work guys like i find it really hard first of yeah like numerous clips because you're trying to capture oh this is a beautiful moment let me capture this is a beautiful moment then i have like 1000 clips already as if that's not enough when you now want to edit it you now have like you now be thinking hard work to decide should we take this should this go like oh dears it's just hard honestly i feel like it's really hard for me so like editing it and then choosing oh what parts to put what part not to please dears I don't miss that. I, sorry, dears. I know it's, it's content that people do really enjoy, but it's hard work. I just I should put it out there. It's hard work. But by the grace of God, by the special grace of the Almighty God, I'm gonna continue. Try my best to continue. I keep up with the vlogs because I really do enjoy also bringing you along and showing you nice stuff. And that's interesting for me as well. So I'll try my best. Continue to pray for me. Hound, you need to support me. Yes, dears, you need to support me. And the one way that you can support me is actually by subscribing. My dear, if you're watching me, yes, you, 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 go, go, eh. You have, you have not subscribed. It's no good. No, it's really not good. Don't lie. It's not good. Please, dear, just click on the subscribe button. Oh, ah, ah, thank you. It's just that red button, please, dear. Like, right now. So, please, that's how you can support me. That's how you can encourage me. You're going to subscribe. You're going to tell your friends about it. Oh, God, why am I using this accent today? You're going to subscribe and you're going to tell your friends about it. And you're going to you're gonna like the video. You're going to share. Tell your friends to subscribe. This is a way to support the good work that we are doing, dear. Thanks, thanks. Okay, I've talked about missing sit-down videos and I'm glad to be doing this. Like, you can't tell how excited I am, but I'm really very excited. The next thing I want to share with you is actually living for Jesus and um if you're conversant with the things that have recently been happening or the things that have recently happened we if you don't know some generals some kingdom generals have been called to glory and it was for me it was a moment of reflection this is a time for you to live your life intentionally for jesus this is a time for you to serve god intentionally 
and it's not doing eye service because if you're doing eye service you're going to be deceiving yourself see it's not it's not saying oh yeah let people be able to know that oh she's like she identifies with a christian family oh she's a child of god if you're doing eye service scripture says that god cannot be mocked and whatever you sow you will reap so you need to truly give your life to christ truly accept him and accept his love accept all that he did for you on the cross of calvary and this is not the time to be sitting on the fence this is not the time to be here and there like like i'm a christian but i'm not really a christian like i'm deep no i'm not really deep like i'm there yeah like of course i go to church you know i study my bible once in a while i pray once in the blue moon this isn't really the time my dear friends if you are a child of god maybe you're a child of god maybe you're giving your life to christ like or you've accepted this jesus like you know 20 years ago 10 years ago five years ago but you've discover that you have not been consistent you have not been truly walking with god or you have not been truly living for christ intentionally this is time to retrace your step and this is also an invitation to anyone out there who's watching and you have not actually accepted this love you have not accepted this great gift of salvation i just want to invite you to this family of god that you should accept him he went on the way to the cross to die for you he did the greatest exchange that there ever will be and ever was there's nothing as honorable there's nothing as dignifiable as being a part of this family so i just want to invite you to this beautiful and loving and big family of ours so if you haven't accepted jesus here's a call for you to accept his love accept the sacrifice on the cross for you and accept this heartwarming gift of salvation it's the most beautiful gift it's the, it's the greatest gift ever 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 given to humanity so welcome if you've accepted him welcome to the family of christ god bless you okay a crew a crew so like i was saying dear friends believers and faith this is not a time for eye service dears this is not a time to sit on the first see if you're for jesus be for jesus unashamed it's not asking for too much it's asking for your commitment it's asking for your willingness to walk with him and let him lead you through the journey of life and there is nothing as beautiful and nothing that like, nothing gives us more confidence than knowing that if we sleep today and do not wake up or if we sleep tomorrow and do not wake up we are going to be with our father and everyone we're going to be with the one who has loved us so much so it is really about us who are right on this earth so christian soldiers guard up like guard up like don't slack this is not the time to you know allow the fairies of the world get in our mind there are different theologies up here and there but stay focused the word of god is our guide the word of god is our manual the word of god is our sure bet so we can always redirect our steps back to the word of god and continuously or constantly keep our, ourselves in prayer so while you're seeking all manner of growth this year while you're going about trying to be better people who are trying to develop financially mentally emotionally do not leave out your spiritual growth make efforts to grow spiritually don't forsake the guardian of the brethren yeah okay that's enough god for you out there another thing i want to share with you is actually checking up on your friends and you know just value relationships basically so i know a lot of people are gonna say oh yeah life is happening and i'm i'm also maybe on this table as well like i'm on this table so it's not oh yeah she's just there to shade us and all of that like life is happening we're busy sometimes you can even see their messages and you don't want to respond because we are just even emotionally tired as an individual you're tired of everything or you know life is happening work school business everything so it happens but it's more important for us to give people their accolades while they are still alive. It's more important for us to celebrate them, appreciate them, show that we care and love them while they're still alive. So nothing is more and beautiful than that. There was a particular screenshot I saw, a post by, um, I think, Timmy Dakolo that says, give people their flowers while they're still alive. And this is super true. This is super true. See, a person can die tomorrow or today and then we'll write a lot of, you know, amazing things about who they were how they really cared and blah 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 and it's, it's sad because sometimes sometimes these are people that you would never even told to their face that oh you love them or you care about them or thank you or the little things so it's more important for us to really appreciate and value people while they're still alive i place so much value on relationships on family on friends and um keep in touch with my friends 
I obviously I'm not perfect. I'm not the best. I slack like so this is also for me this is me talking to myself but i think we can do better as individuals even if it's just hey what's up how you doing oh i'm fine or you don't know how much your how you doing can go you don't know how much your hello can go so if we have to you know schedule those calls schedule those messages it might be what will brighten their day it might be what will brighten their week and they just need to hear from you and you know send them gifts while they are still alive dears yeah don't do that. They don't call me. I don't call you. They don't message me. I don't message you. Yes. When I see those kind of um, screenshots or pictures, it gives me headache. It it worries me because I just realized, you see, all oh, these, they don't call me. Hard. My dear, call them. If they don't call you, call them. Right? You don't bomb bridges. Oh, this person, they never called me for three weeks. You have abandoned me. All those people will be attacking. Your friend has not called you in three months. You did not call the friend, though. They've not managed to call you. You not attack them. <laughs> you have forgotten me. You have abandoned me. You are dizzy. You are that. Ah, can you come? My dear, stop. It's no. It's not fair. It's really not fair because you gone. You had the friend's number. You didn't call them to say hello. How are you sure that they are not passing through something? They are not passing through. Like you say, oh, life is hard. That's why you did not call them. Do you think life is smooth and easy on their own hand? You know, everybody is hustling. Everybody is managing. Everybody is trying. So please don't judge people. When they call you, just appreciate it. Take it in all love. Oh, thank you for remembering me. Oh, bless you there. And it just it just really makes relationships seamless. It makes it have a good flow, and everybody can just move on with their lives. And you know. Okay, so there's this gist. It's not gist, but I said it's a chit chat. So yeah. Recently, I started an IG live session on God's faithfulness series, and it's been super amazing. First of all, we've had we've had I mean sessions four sessions so far we've had four sessions so far and it's been mind-blowing and i'm really thankful to god for this idea and this assignment i don't take it for granted at all but most importantly i'm thankful to all the amazing people that i've invited and they have honored because it's been so mind-blowing like come on hear what the lord is doing come on hear what the lord is doing yes but all of these videos are on my ig on my instagram because it's ig live yes <laughs> please so if you want to watch any replay of any of them, you can just check on my Instagram. I put my Instagram account somewhere like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see, it. so you can check it out and watch it. But it's been amazing. See, I've been blown away. God is doing amazing things. And after I shared my um testimony on here, I shared it. If you have not watched that video, you should watch it. Trusting God in the hard times. And I believe that one of the main purpose of this um, assignment is for people to share their testimonies and just to serve as a reminder that God is still in the business of doing great and mighty things and also to help us to strengthen our faith. You know, somebody might be passing through the same situation and they just say, God, if you did this for somebody, one of the speakers said something. She said, testimonies are like precedents. So you can hold God on the account of this person's own. You say, God, you did it for so, so, so. You're going to do my own. You did it for this person. You are capable of doing it. So it's amazing that God is God is, is doing so many mind-blowing things with us and through us. So yeah, catch us. Catch up on that on my Instagram, yes. That's about it. You are aware they are aware now with the things that are happening, with the lot that is going on in the world. Life is too short not to enjoy. Rest, relax. See, a lot is going on, I know. Hustle, trying to make it, trying to be better, trying to this, to hit my stones. And all of those amazing things that you are trying to do. But sometimes you need to rest. I wrote it like bagada bagada. I wrote it rest, dear. You need it. You need to rest. There's so much going on. And if we allow all of these things to cloud our minds, we would be mentally depressed, mentally tired. So we need to rest. Rest. Relax. Take a break, like they say. Do what makes you happy. Watch a movie. Read a book. Just relax. Just do something outside of the whole gym gym. The eats. That is coming from work, coming from family, coming from relationship, coming from business, coming from studies. Please, dear. It's overwhelming, I know. But we need to just take time and relax. And life is short. Life's finical. You just realize that, oh, moments to pass. Or just the law. The year has gone by. And what's the show for it? So you need to live, in, live intentionally. That's what I want to say. Live intentionally and enjoy every moment. Make it count. Make it all what? Make it all count. Go out. Laugh out loud. Laugh with your friends, play a game, dance like a child. Laugh. Laughter is good medicine. While you are living and enjoying your life and making every moment count, capture this moment. Yes, I said it. Capture moments, 
I really enjoy capturing moments a lot. It's one of the things I do for relaxation and I do to, you know, relieve myself. Yeah, I know you're an introvert. Yeah, you don't like the camera. Stop it. You don't like this. But yes, pictures help you to relieve your memories. See, when you're even tired of all the stress that you're going through, you know, throwbacks, they're always good to look at and be like, ah, ah, see me when I was this, this, this. And it's really beautiful. So engage in capturing moments this way take random pictures of yourself you know that you do this just stay focused it will get better it will get better i don't know if this is chit chat now or i'm becoming a motivational speaker or i'm becoming but whatever dear whatever I, please whatever range you put this it's all right by me so i think i've come to the end of this video i've shared with you a bit like okay let me say one more thing so the past few weeks have been really draining for me because i've been doing a lot of school work and i've been tired work, work has not been like easy on me but it's tired i was tired but thank god for jesus that gives us strength even when we don't have energy we have a bad that gives strength so i'm grateful for that and i'm grateful for him pushing me and seeing me through the last week and i'm excited for the things that are to come because i know you will see me true so i hope this is an encouragement to somebody who's watching me that even if you're tired, even if things are not going the way you want, I trust God is in charge, is in control of it all. It would surprise you, it would put beautiful smiles on your face, you will laugh out loud soon enough. And just try and be relaxed in there, try and rest, try and hand it all over to Him. You cannot do it by your own strength, anyway. So you might as well just hand it over to the one who can and will do it for you. Okay, so guys, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you've learned a thing or all. And, um, Please leave for me in the comments section which of this shit tips you must share. I think tips or nuggets, whatever. Which of these things shall resonate the most with you? And um, let me know if there's anything you would like me to be sharing on this channel or things you want me to talk about. I'm currently a student, so I might be of help, you know, share with you things. I don't know. Don't forget to share with your friends, like this video, subscribe, 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 subscribe. And until the next time, it's your girl B Sola. Meet me in the comment section. Let's go and agree on the name we're gonna be using. <laughs>